Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today and thank you for joining me in Spring Watch. If you don't know what that is, that's 14 video projects focusing on the spring summer catalogue going through for 14 days, back to back to back to back. We're on number five and that is, this is today's project. It's a, a box that uses one piece of adhesive and folds completely flat for storage. Let me show you. Flat, completely flat. Bravo, you can make loads of these in advance. Keep them tucked away to one side, no problemo. Okay, so <laughs> I've just realized that my instructions, so I'm gonna talk and do at the same time. So this uses the new poppies elements um, as well as the, the Peaceful Poppies designer series paper. So that's the elements on the top. <laughs> I'm trying to not use two hands so I can pull up my, there we go, there's my instructions. But yeah, it's got the new poppies elements here and one of them is watercolor paper. Uh, but I will show you all of that. So, I used Blackberry Bliss for this one. I'm going to use Real Red. No, Poppy Parade! <laughs> Poppy Parade! Because we're using poppies. And my piece of cardstock is eight and a quarter by 11 inches, 21 by 29 centimetres. So on the long side, where's my stylus? Score it at half an inch, two and a half, eight and a half, and ten and a half inches, which in metric is two seven twenty two twenty seven. On the short side, score it at two four six and eight inches, which in metric is five ten fifteen and twenty. Now, if you work in eight and a half by eleven cardstock, keep yours at the eight and a half width because I've got a little skinny bit here you would have a slightly wider bit but no sort of major reason other than that okay so let me grab a pony folder wrong one there we go this is my reinker this is the one i use for reinking it's covered in ink it's well battered okay so burnish all your score lines Barry was in here just now. She decided to wake up and immediately come and see me and parade all over my desk. Yet halted filming for a short while. There is a good chance she could come back. Okay. So burnish all of those. Right, so it's going to close around like this, but there's bits that we want to keep and bits we want to get rid of. So if you keep your skinny bit to the left and work on everything to the right. So this first square, cut straight down and wedge it. Not a massive amount, that's maybe a little bit too much there. And take off a little bit more than uh, where that score line is and do the same here just wedge out a little bit and a little bit there and this one this corner over here just get rid of the whole lot and again trim down a little bit so if I bring it back, so that's my thin score line on the left, this is what you're left with and we're going to repeat exactly the same up here so it's a mirror image. So let me get rid of that bit first. So get rid of that. This is the one that we're keeping in its entirety. So I really am only taking a tiny piece away and a bit more than half there, a, a bit beyond the score line there.
I've got a little bit that I didn't, there we go, didn't nick off properly. So those are all scrap bits. You could probably do something with that because that's a two by two key, but we're going to the bin with it. Right, I'm going to get my detail trio punched because I want to round the corners on here. So this is the bit that sticks out. So around all those corners. And at the other end. And the other one there. Right, so I have got some gorgeous panels of DSP. They measure one and a half by five and three quarters. And I don't think I've got that written down in metric. One and a half by five and three quarters. I haven't. So in metric, that no idea what that's going to be. I'll have to put it onto. My... <laughs> I'll have to copy it across. But yeah, one and three quarters by. Yeah, by. Yeah, one and three quarters by five and three quarters. Sorry, I'm just. Blah. I should not speak today. But yeah, I haven't written down the input, the metric, so I should have to make sure to get that across. Now this poppy paper. Um, the one that I have chosen, I've kept it so that my poppies go that way round. I wanted them, because this is a sideways box, it doesn't have to be a sideways box, it could be that you have it positioned that way round, but I'm going for it this way round. Just make sure all your poppies are the right way up. Isn't it gorgeous paper though? It's so beautiful. I can see me going through quite a lot of packs of this. Okay, so this is my only piece of adhesive going on here to close the box itself. And I like to use tear and tape for this because although I've only got a quarter of an inch, a teeny little bit, I've got one centimetre and you can see that the glue has come over by the fact that it's double-sided. When you smooth it over, it sticks to itself and it's not sticking out anymore. Brilliant. So, close that up. And that one. And that's the box made. How cool is that? Brilliant. Right, so I've got some of this lovely crushed what is it called? Crinkled seam binding ribbon. I want to, I keep calling it crushed ribbon, but it's not. It's because we have crinkled seam binding ribbon in crushed curry. <laughs> That's what I keep calling it. It's a bit crushed. Um, I am told that you can straighten it with straighteners, should you wish. And you can definitely colour it. That's what's making it so very popular. So you could use markers, you could use blends, anything you fancy. Right, so if you didn't see me going a little bit off my head because I was stunned at how many papers there were, uh, let me show you these again. So these are the Poppies Elements, which I've now forgotten the price of. I want to say it's £7, but I don't even think that's right. Um, £6. £6 for all of this. So you've got matte black with a shiny overlay, two sheets of that. We have two sheets of these, so they're pre-printed, and again, there's a shine to them. Two of the watercolour with a sort of debossing, uh, embossing on them, and two of the vellum with white printing on them, which is, it's, it's got a bit of a shine, not a massive amount. So I used the watercolour ones before. Um, so I'm going to have a bash again, so I'm going to get my Poppy Parade and I'm going to get my not very full Aqua Painter. So I'm just squeezing it together to try and get some of the ink out of there. Drip a bit of water in and turn it into a watercolour palette. And I'm going to go with one of these bigger ones. And what's going to happen is that the watercolour paper is going to soak up the ink and the liquid. And 
and it's going to not work obviously where there's um, the resistance from the embossing before. Actually what I probably need is a tissue. Oh, that's my box of tissues. Here we go. Now you can just come in and come in with extra colour. Just realised I didn't zoom in. Oopsie. How clever is that? Because it's watercolour paper, it's happily resisting. Uh, that's absorbing the ink. Love it. Absolutely love that. Oh, so much fun. So I'm just going to have one of those on there. Clean that up while it's open. Oh, what else shall I have? Go for another one of these, I think. And you could put that over the top because it's a perfect match. <laughs> when you get it the right way round, it's a perfect match. But actually, I'm just going to put them off to one side because, yeah, that's the right side. But I've got ink on my fingers. Um, I'm going to put it off to one side. Put my mini glue dot behind the white bit. And you can see it because it's white and it's opaque. And that one there. And that's a pretty quick and easy box. And you could make a load of these and, and fold them flat for storage. And although I did leave, lift this one up on dimensionals, I like the fact that it's flat and that you can put it away for storage. And actually, you know what? I'm thinking this might be a better one with lovely lipstick. I think this would be better with lovely lipstick than that poppy parade. <laughs> Let's have a quick lane swerve. Oh yes, much better. So they may be poppies, but poppy parade is definitely not the right colour for this one. Is that poppy parade cast off? It is. Perfect. Oh, don't you just love it when you change a plan right in the middle of filming? Why not? Clean that up and I can put it away. I'm a happy girl with that. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Back tomorrow. Bye.